Okay, well this one's for the guys that maybe don't uh, really want to get into electronics that much and just want to fiddle around with something and they don't want to spend a lot of money on copper wire. You can use this steel twist tie wire. It's used for uh, gardening and tying up plastic bags and stuff like that. And I found this in a dollar store for a dollar. You can make lots and lots and lots of coils out of this. But it's steel. It's not copper. It's magnetic. So it wouldn't work for pulse motors, but it worked on a jewel thief. And I was um, pleasantly surprised that it actually would work on a jewel thief. Now, you can wrap it up on a toroid like that, and it works just fine, just like a normal toroid, like a jewel thief toroid. But you can also just use a bunch of coil of wire and make two coils and tie them together. And, and uh, there's enough uh, iron in there that it makes a a toroid type of uh, jewel thief coil and uh, I'm just going to show this on a double A battery and I was uh, pleasantly surprised that that worked that you could take uh, there goes my meter <laughs> there goes on again um, you can take one of these um, bunches of twist tie wire and just wire it up in a bundle and make a, a jewel thief out of it and there's one other thing that I found out today, and it has nothing to do with the twist tie, but uh, has to do with the Slayer Exciter. And I found out you can take a regular um, Jewel Thief circuit, and if you take the LED out, where it goes between the collector and the negative rail, and you plug in the Slayer Exciter in that collector position, there goes your high voltage right there and that's coming off the top of uh, this coil and it's a transformer basically it's got a primary here that uh, comes off the collector of the transistor goes through a diode runs around through the primary and back down into the negative rail through another diode the secondary coil is tied in with the primary coil and uh, that gives you the high voltage out of the other end. Uh, that's a, about a 70 volt uh, situation right there, 70, 80 volts uh, on a 110 volt neon. But it gives you the uh, the exciter thing. Let's see if I can show this here. Yeah, you can see that. And uh, it's a uh, it's the it's the exciter situation uh, running off a plain old jewel thief circuit. And this is running at uh, 19 milliamps. It's it's not not a lot, and you can do the battery thing here with it. Of course, proximity to the, the secondary coil, you got it. And over here at the virtual ground, you got it. And I played a lot around a lot with this today, and um, um, I was interested to see if this jewel thief circuit would drive a, an exciter type of circuit, and it will. So that's what I wanted to share with uh, you guys tonight was the fact that you could take this twist tie wire and use it in some circuits because it is steel and uh, it, it does conduct. It doesn't conduct as good as copper but it does conduct electricity, but you couldn't use it in a, I don't think you could use it in a pulse type motor. I haven't tried it yet, but it, you might be able to figure out some kind of way to do it, but it does work in a jewel thief. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that, that you could take a, uh, a jewel thief uh, circuit and use it in a jewel thief quite nicely. And uh, that's running at 10 milliamps, which is uh, about right for Jewel Thief on a AA battery. Anyway, thanks for watching.